Hi, I'm Kent. Recently, I've been playing around with slip that has been colored with mason stain. I recently did a video looking at marbling slip. So you put in some regular slip, you drip in a little bit of regular slip, and then you swirl it around. That creates a marbling effect around the inside of the mold. When I did that, I noticed I got a little bit of slip on the mold, and that actually showed up in the marbling effect as well. It wound up being just some colored dots around the outside edge. So in this video, I want to try that on purpose. I'm going to try applying a pattern around the inside of the mold with some slip, then pour in a different colored slip and see if that pattern will show up. So let's give it a try and see how it turns out. So here's the mold I'm going to use. The idea will be to take my slip and apply it in a pattern on the inside of the mold. The plaster will then absorb the water out of the slip and it will dry a little bit for just the pattern. Once it sets up a little bit, I can then fill up the mold with slip like I normally would and pour it back out. Hopefully what that will do is it'll leave the pattern around the edge and then otherwise the pot will just be like a normal slip cast pot in other regards. I think trick number one is going to be doing this so that both you and I can see. All right, I think I've got you in a position where you can see. It's gonna be a little bit awkward for me, but we'll try it out. So the idea is I have some slip here in my container with the little hole I can drip out of. I will try and apply the slip on the inside of the plaster and create a pattern. This slip's pretty runny, so I'm just gonna try some little dots first. I've noticed my first problem. As I rotate the mold, some of these dots are running. Probably the real solution is to change my slip consistency to be a little bit thicker. All right, I went all the way around. I changed my mind. I am not particularly patient. So I'm just gonna have these run what's currently sideways. So there'll be these horizontal streaks. So I'm just turning this around so that the streaks are a little bit more even. And then the other trick is I don't want to set it up before they're firmed up. In particular, I don't want them to run downwards. I only want them to run horizontally. All right, I think I'm gonna let that set for just a minute. And in the meantime, we will mix up the other slip. You'll notice I put in my regular slip here. This isn't colored. So if I just put in regular slip, I would have maybe a pattern from the slip on slip texture. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my colored slip and put in here. All right, I think that's set up well enough. It's not dripping down for sure. These are left over from when I was doing my Mason stain color experiments. You can check that out in a different video. This has about 4% uh, mason stain by dry weight of clay. I'm going to go ahead and use that. So we'll just pour it in now. I think this is set enough that they won't mix together. I don't quite have enough. I'm really close to the edge. So I'm not quite level. I'm pretty sure my bench isn't level. All right, cool. So I didn't get up to where the shoulder is. So the rim will probably need some cleanup after I'm done, but this should be close enough. And note to future self, this mold takes slightly more than this container. All right, just like the normal slip casting process now, I will let this sit for a while to form the pot around the edge, dump out the slip, and then demold it. All right, I think it's released from the mold. It's time for the magic reveal. All 
right, so there it is. I think that turned out pretty well. Wasn't the dots I was originally going for, but I think the pattern's really interesting. All right, great. So I will clean up the rim when it gets a little bit firmer and then we'll let it dry, biscuit and fire it. I hope you found this interesting. I thought it was a fun experiment. I'll probably try some others like these. If you have any questions about this, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer it. Thanks.